What do you do with a Bosch pear? You poach it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. My name is Marie, I live in New York, and I love cooking and entertaining, cultural events, travel, and fashion. And I'm asking you to join me on the adventure. Today we're doing poached pear, and the ingredients are very simple. A cup of wine, a cup of sugar, and it would have been nice to have a cinnamon stick, but I ran out, so I'm going to use a dash of ground cinnamon. And what you're going to do is you're going to melt the sugar into the wine. And as I've said before, this is not your best wine. It's just wine that you enjoy drinking. And the flame doesn't have to be too high. Cup of sugar. A dash of cinnamon. And you stir that up. And you just monitor it as the sugar dissolves. So when I first learned how to make this dish, they always said you cut the bottom so that it sits flat in the pan and then you peel it. It's a paring knife. And these pears have, have been washed before I started filming. And the reason it's the Bosch pear, it's because it's a very firm pear. It'll hold up to the poaching process. And then you're supposed to poach it and then serve it like this. And you know what? It wasn't that great for your guests when they went to eat it. So I started cutting it in half, taking the decorative stem off. Let me lower the flame. and removed the hard core that runs from the top. Well, that's not so pretty, but first is okay. See if I get better at this as we go along. to do it 
is the potato peeler. So I could cut these in half, but I, I like the shape of them uh, because of course what's going in there is a scoop of ice cream or a scoop of homemade vanilla, um, whipped cream. So the hardest part of this was uh, peeling these pears and, core, and taking the core out. So now I'm looking at them and I'm thinking a cup is not enough. So I'm going to get more wine and more sugar. And I'm going to come back and check on this in 30 minutes. Hey friends, thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers, but I still need your help. I need for you to leave a thumbs up if you like the shows, the things that I'm doing and leave a comment expressing how you feel about it. That would be much appreciated. And I'd like you to keep sharing my channel so I can grow my subscribers. Also, another way that you can help is by using my Amazon link in the box below. This is not strictly for the products that I show you. It's for any purchase that you feel like making through Amazon. Just go through my link and that'll also help out this channel. I appreciate you. It's been 30 minutes and the fruit has softened and taken on the color of the wine and the wine is very syrupy now from the sugar and your kitchen smells wonderful from this concoction so if i'm going to serve this at a dinner party i usually cook it early in the day and i let it cool and chill and then i serve it after dinner so this is just finished cooking. I'm going to let it cool. And when we come back, I'll show you how to plate it. All right, so the pear is cool. And as I've always told you, have ice cream on hand. So good. Mm. Thanks for joining me today at MBC Lifestyles Diary.